Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 in the city. I'm sorry it's been a little while since we've been with our little city folk. But we are heading back to them now. In our last episode, Salma opened up her restaurant, which was super amazing. It's been like Salma's little goal since they first moved out to the city, which is really cute. You guys were saying you should buy a bakery instead. And I'm like, we've just been saving for 7,000 years. Now is a chance for them to relax a little bit. We may do a little bit of restaurant while we're here. But I also have something else planned that I don't want to talk too much about, but it's going to be happening in this episode. So keep your little peeper sneepers open for that. And guys, let's play some Sims 4 in the city. So guys, there is our little uh, modern Chinese restaurant. Not the greatest name, not the greatest name, admittedly. We need to change the name of the restaurant. And then we, we'll probably do a little bit of restaurant in today, but not too much, because we're going to go back to a beautiful little family, the Calorie Akins, but not just the Calorie Akins, because there's also Salma and Roxy in there as well. But you'll get my drift. <laughs> Sorry, you guys caught me on my phone there, because I was just about to go and see what your... Because uh, I can't remember what you guys said about the colour of the clothing and stuff in the restaurant. So I'm just gonna quickly zoom into that video so I can see what you guys suggested. So you guys have had a lot of suggestions on the restaurant, like something like Selma's fire or something. You like the fieriness of Selma. You've also said, however, oh Selma, you look all sad. What are you doing in the bathroom with Jessie? Doing some little chit chats. Oh my gosh, whatever she's telling her, not only does Jessie agree, but it's quite shocking. You guys said you preferred Selma's old hair. However, you did like her new look. And I can relate to that. I can agree with that. We can definitely put Salma's hair back to her old style. We will be doing that, you guys. Why is James just stood there clapping like a lunatic? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We've been seeing a lot of James because he's been popping up in the other episodes a lot. He's always like getting in touch with his family and being a cute little bin, which I like them, that you guys. One thing you guys also said is you want a little bit more focus on um, Jesse and Roxy and for their parent and Akira to be a little bit more obvious and stuff as well. What I'm kind of thinking is, uh, I really don't know which way to do it. This is my problem because I was kind of wanting to hold off until the pets pack came out and get James and Salma to move out to a little house in the new like little suburbs and do their like uh, kind of just start afresh there. And I also would really like, look at them, doing some flirting. Doing some cute little flirting together. I also really want them to have another kid as well. But I think maybe that's too long to wait, you guys. I don't know. I would really, really like them to move out, though. But this is kind of their apartment. And if they just leave and, like, give the apartment to the girls, is that really fair? Should they be the ones staying in the city? And maybe Roxy and Jessie should be the ones moving out? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really, really torn on that. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, please let me know because it's hard to give everyone attention when there's so many Sims in the house. And I would definitely like to break those guys off into their own thing. But who stays in the city? Roxy, uh, Roxy, Jesse, baby. Why are you sleeping on there? Come and sleep in the bed instead. In fact, you're all, you're all up at a very strange time. Can we at least get a few hours of kipping before we have to go to school, please? Betty Baboodles, everyone. Work and school calls. Please, can you get some sleep before then? So, I do need your help on this. I really don't know. Because in my head, it makes more sense for Roxy and Jessie to stay. I've got yogurt, by the way. It makes more sense for Roxy and Jessie to stay in the city. But this is James and Salma's apartment. So, it's a little bit of a tough one, you guys. How is everybody's jobberinos doing? Oh, wow. Jessie's really close to getting a promotion and she has work today. Roxy needs to push herself a little bit more and does not have work today. She also needs to play an instrument and get better at the piano as well. <gasps> the girlies are missing school. Up you get, girly whirlies. Go to school. Go to school, please. Uh, James is obviously at the top of his career. He doesn't need to do anything. And so is Salma. So is Salma. She's still doing the whole celebrity chef thing because she gets paid so well. She actually gets paid more per hour than James now. I didn't actually even realize that. So that's really, really impressive. Um, but she doesn't have work today. James does, however, but not until this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to send Jessie alone to work because she's so close to a promotion that I, don't, I think she'll be absolutely fine today. As long as... Oh, she already is working hard. She knows. Girlies, I hope you are studying hard at school as well. Tell you what, since little Sal Marino doesn't have work today, I think we may send her to the restaurant. So, go uh, do your little toileting. 
Go on. I know you were already off to go do it. I'm going to quickly change up her appearance for you guys. <gasps> change them. Did I mean to do that? I think I meant to go to plan outfit, didn't I? Change your little outfit, Reno. What have you guys said? That there's a short hair that looks really good on Elma. Uh, on Elma. <laughs> on Selma, and it's got a little S on it. I, I've never had her with short hair before. I'm a little bit scared, you guys, but I'm going to see which one you mean. I don't think you meant that one. <laughs> Because it looks horrible. I mean, that one looks pretty good on her, I'm not gonna lie. Selma's just so beautiful that she can literally put any hairstyle on. And she's gonna look pretty good. But I can't see which S one you mean, so I think you guys might have to send me a little screeny of it. Oh my gosh, that's like a goth teen Selma. We need to have a goth teenager, don't we? Because we've not had one yet. We need to do that. We could give her that hair. I actually think that looks really cute on her. It's hard because it's Selma. She could pull off putting a bin bag on her head. You know what I mean? <gasps> Check that one out, you guys. She actually looks fire with that hair. I like that a lot. I think it looks very, very cool. But it's definitely a lot shorter than what we've ever gone with on Selma before. So you guys are going to have to let me know. For now, I'm just going to pop her uh, ponytail back up. Oh, Salma, what do you like? Beautiful. Beautiful is what you are like. She even suits blonde hair. It's not fair. The Salmas of this world make the earth unfair. There we go. That's her standard hair, isn't it? There we go. So I'll leave her with that for now. Also, I want to check what... Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't check what skin I've got on her. Okay, it's this one. Because it looks so good. Like, it looks so good. There's a few different variations. I went for this one. But it's it's a very good skin. I went for the slightly darker bug version. I think it accentuates her eyes a little bit more. Oh, wow. Look at her there. A Selma, what do you like? Anyway, so we've got her new day look back. You guys like this outfit, so thank you very much for that. Another idea that you guys had is seeing what one of the girls would look like with little specks on. So let's try that. The annoying thing about the glasses in this game, and the reason I've never used them before, is because they take off the eyelashes. So look, eyelashes on. And then if I gave her some, like, cute little glasses the eyelashes come off which is pretty annoying she does look very cute with glasses on though also i think some of it is me projecting because i used to wear glasses in school and i hated them i really hated wearing my glasses i felt like i didn't suit them did not feel cool in them so that's probably another reason why i've not put glasses on any of the kids i'll put these ones on for this episode and you guys can let me know whether we keep them on or not I'm gonna give us some little little bangles on as well. There we go. So they're the two changes that you guys wanted. Done. Done. Okay, so we can go to the restaurant, opening it up about midday. I think that seems like a pretty good idea. Wait, can I kind of manage it from here? Oh no, I should I should go to it. I should go to it. You do better when you go to it, you guys. So here is our little restaurant. It's literally just called a modern Chinese restaurant at the moment, which obviously does not work. So can I how do I change all the stuff to restaurant settings? Can I change the name? Do I do it here? Modern Chinese restaurant. Okay, let's see what you guys suggested for the name. You guys have a lot of fire. I actually quite like fire food. But I think what I'm going to go for is uh, fire and flames. Matching little Selma's hair very much there. And then I think I may just change some of the decor to reflect the name a little bit. So I'm changing all the chairs to red. I changed all these from uh, this to this because I think it goes with the red a little bit more. Uh, these cheeky little chairs here trying to hide. I don't think so. Uh, can I change the color of this? Yes, I can. <gasps> Is that a little bit overly red? No, I embrace it. It's flames. It's flamey. Red. <laughs> red. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit much. Nah, red. Screw it. <laughs> red. Red. <laughs> oh, no, you're a different shade of red. I hate that. Black. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Yes. So much more readiness. No, different shade of red. Hateful. There we go. So these are shining like a... Uh, I need to change these in. Let me just put them to this because I think the color of the light is what's making that yellow. So I do need to change that. Red. Because <laughs> I think there's a lot of green light in this room. So I need to edit that. And then I feel like I need some sort of fire thing. Because the, the, Can I make these shoot fire instead of water? In fact, could we have a fire back there instead of like an actual fire somehow? Could I have a fireplace there? What about one like here as well? Like in the middle of the restaurant kind of thing. What do you guys think? Am I going a bit too far with this whole uh, fire thing? Why can't I tw twist this? I can't twist it. That's really weird. Okay, forget that idea then. <laughs> oh yes, that looks fiery. Can we put this up somewhere? Fire, 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 fire. There we go. It's looking pretty fire in here now, guys. I'm going to put it there, actually. Fire. 
And like some, some, you guys said have some stuff that kind of reflects Selma's heritage a little bit more as well. I like that. I like that very much. I think we need to change the menus to reflect that too. There we go. That's looking a little bit more like personalized now. Like we've not just gone with the standard one. We're kind of mixing it up a little bit. Okay. And then if I, I'm still paused, aren't I? Yeah. I think these set color, uh, this like, I feel like it's green. Yeah, it is. <gasps> That's better. My eyes just went as soon as I did that. That looks so much better. What about this one? Okay, I think that's looking a lot better now. So in the last, oh wait, I've not finished anything yet. I need to do the menu and stuff. Okay, the chef. Oh my gosh. Okay, should we do these? Edit? Can I have red outfits for everyone? Oh my gosh, look, it's on a mannequin. That's so weird. Oh, what? Why can't I have red? It's tough because you kind of want the chef to look chefy, but I also want them to be red. Yes, that's more like it, you guys. What do you think? Red or black and red? I think that's quite like... The black and red goes quite well. What do you think of that? I think that's looking pretty good. May uh, maybe they're a little bit far. <laughs> like, the shininess of the mannequin is showing through for some reason. Imagine. <laughs> Okay, that's my little chef arena. Oh, there's a few different chef outfits. Okay. Oh, wow. I can just have a pre-made one all red. Yes, looking pretty fire. So they'll just naturally come in three variations. Oh, wait, is this... Is this like the waiters and waitresses? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's a waiter or not. Okay, I'm just gonna accept what I've got so far and then see if the waiter is like a separate one. But as you can see, black and red is the new theme of flames and fire okay so that's the chefs i need to do to quickly do the males i'm gonna do them identical to the females so don't worry uh <laughs> look at the men's with little buggy trousers <laughs> this is like my favorite sims music definitely my favorite <laughs> I hate that heart. So that's the chefs, but now we need the waitress and stuff. Okay, let's edit these chickens too. So this is where the waitresses, I feel like you can have a little bit more fun with those. I don't think I need three variations either. I'm gonna actually get rid of that and just have one. Whatever the outfit is, it needs to look fire. I'm kind of feeling like these almost look like little chili peppers, but no, it's a bit much, isn't it? Let me have a look at some different tops. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, imagine. It's really weird because it's so shiny on a mannequin, but that's red. Or they could do this. Or this. <gasps> or something like this. Guys, imagine how beautiful they'd look wearing like, like almost like a sari type thing. And it would fit with the restaurant so well. Oh my gosh, the waitresses are going to look awesome. So awesome. Okay, so we've got the waitresses and we now need the waiters as well. Let's put those in saris too. I really, really like saris. I've had a lot of friends go to Indian weddings and wear saris. And they look so amazing, you guys. What would be like the male equivalent then? Um, Let's go as um, Star Wars. Oh, look, that always reminds me of Max. They could do something like this. That is actually quite cool. I think we do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, our stuff are gonna look so cool now. And then finally, we need our hostess. Our hostess with the mostess. We only need one outfit for them. So let's find one. They're either dressed very much like this or like very, like they're off on an amazing night out. They're always very dressed up. So I think that's the theme that we go for. Maybe the hostess wears black. That could be an idea. Or something like this. Guys, you know that's fiery. You know that's very fiery. And then some high heels. Oh my gosh, you guys, I want to go to my restaurant. <laughs> I want to go to Salma's restaurant. And then the males will be um, a really smart suit. I don't think we've even got a male hostess, to be honest. That's like quite vampire lordy, but I don't know. You kind of go out there with the restaurant, don't you? Oh, here we go. Yes, there we go. Nicer shoes, though. There we go. Okay, D enough of that. We're done with that now. We are done with that. I'm going to take a quick look at the menu, though. Okay, finally, we're gonna look at the menu. Wow, okay. Are these all the ones that are currently on the menu? They are. Wow, those are five out of five, jeez. I don't know what our, I think our um, chef is currently only a three out of five. I don't think we should have any five out of fives in there that, yet though, because I don't think we're quite good enough. I'm gonna get rid of everything over a three because otherwise I just don't think we'll be able to hack it. Salma could, but I don't think anyone else could. How is pouring a glass of Merlot five out of five? Okay, there we go. And let's do a little bit of advertising. Silver package. There we go. And now we're all ready to go. We've already got quite a lot of people in here. So can we see their new outfits? Oh, she's looking awesome. Look at these guys in the kitchen. Ah, everyone's looking so good. Time to say hello to everyone. Not, 
Not you, Kira, but you, Selma. I just realized Selma needs her own fire outfit if she's gonna be here as well. <gasps> Claire! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look who it is, you guys! It's Claire and Ali! Absolute little beans! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! <gasps> guys, we've got quite a lot of perks. <gasps> we could get an additional waiter. Oh my gosh, that is definitely worth it. Can we get an additional chef? <gasps> we need to do quite a lot more before we can get an additional chef. But let's at least go ahead and get our extra waiter. So we need to select someone from below. <gasps> no one's amazing, but Tabitha is probably the best. So she can get hired. <gasps> Here is our new waitress in her very cool outfit. Looking very good. Oh, well done. Good waitressing. She's checking up on people and whatnot. Oh, Ali and Claire have given it a four. And they're thinking about woo-woos, you guys. Everybody seems to be giving it about four, which I think is quite good. I think it's quite good. I forgot to redecorate this outside bit, you guys. Let me just do that quickly. Even though no one has ever sat outside, ever. Oh my God, you guys, I can actually change these as well. So red, so fiery. Salma's running around praising everybody, checking on all the customers. Basically just being a really good bean. Oh my gosh, just as I said that, some people came and sat outside, yay. Apparently I can't welcome them when they sit outside though. She just goes, eh. Five stars, yes you beautiful people. Oh my god, just has been thrown into a mud scientist. She got 1,500 bonus and new clothes. Yes, you awesome, awesome little mud Oh wow, her outfit's black now guys. How freaking cool is that? <gasps> These guys are really messing everything up because they won't sit down to their table and they're getting really angry but because they won't sit down no one's taking their order. Guys this is bad. Oh no I might get rid of the tables outside because this is really not working. They're just not getting served. It's just no. Get rid. Remove. Remove. I'll have to put a feature or something there when I can afford it. Oh, people are getting- the staff are getting tired, guys. It's gonna be home time soon. <gasps> Rain increase, guys! Three out of five stars! Yay! <gasps> More perk points! Yes! Additional chef! This is exactly what we needed. Okay, let's quickly just employ another chef. Who is the best chef? No one's very good. No one is very good at chefing at all. Damn, they're all just one. Will this refresh? It was refresh every day. She was really good. Ah, if I hire someone else, they're gonna be quite garbage. Uh, I'm gonna have to though, because she's getting overwhelmed. Okay, when she comes, I will immediately try and train her up a little bit. There we go. We got eight to five dollars today. Wow, the ingredients cost a lot. I'm gonna have to up my prices. And I'm not even paid wages today either. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> That's it for today, folks. Time to leave my restaurant, please. Oh, Selma's back home and very tired after walk working until 4 a.m. Wow, get your- actually, can everybody please get their butts into bed? Why are you always doing this to me? Bed, 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 bed. Jessie's new work outfit is so badass, you guys. She looks properly badass in it. A little bit scary, but definitely badass. Okay, guys, so it's a beautiful Friday. The girl is getting ready for school. And I promised you guys I'd spend more time with Jesse and with Roxy. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. They're both gonna take themselves a little vacation day today. They're both feeling very, very happy. And I think they need to go somewhere nice together. Why don't they start the day with a little a little kiss and a little hug and whatnot for each other? Whereas little kiss a Rooney, a little embrace. A little, uh, what else could they be doing? Expressing their fondness to one another. Look at Roxy's oh. wings, by the way. <laughs> Wing tattoo they've got there. They it's definitely fine. need the it's chance fun. to spend a little bit more time with each other. And then why don't they go on a nice <laughs> date together? I oh think gosh. that would be really cute. That's what they can do with their Friday. And I swear, Roxy spends half of her life walking around in a dressing gown, literally. So, We've never been to this pretty little park here. It's called Center Park, Miyusho Meadows. I thought they could give that a go and have a bit of a like a, a nice cutesy kind of day together. They've never done this before. And I would have loved to have brought little uh, Kira along for the ride. But unfortunately she has school. And besides, this is gonna be a day they just wanna spend just Roxy and Jessie together. Okay, so I've never been here before. Oh, look at them both in their little shorts. 
How freaking cute are you guys? Can you do some uh, some cuteness for me right now, please? Oh, wow, okay. I didn't even need to tell them, guys. They got straight to it. I like that they've both got quite different figures, you know? Like, I'd say Jessie's, like, very stick-thin, whereas Roxy's, like, a little bit more curvy. They're both very cool little ladies. Okay, what have we got around here? Oh, wow! Oh, my gosh, this is a beautiful wedding venue! You guys! You guys! Oh, my gosh, it's classed as, like, a date date. So they have to, like, do some, like, uh, romancing together. Why don't you guys come and sit here together? What does she want to do? She wants to get married to Roxy! Oh my gosh, Jesse! <laughs> Check you out! Check you out with the full-on commitment aspirations there. And you guys also taught me I could do this. <gasps> I do this and we just see the sims. That's really cool. Look at these two cutie pies. Love me some uh, Jesse and Roxy. Oh, look at them doing little tickles of each other. So cute. Now, I was really hoping that they could do a picnic together. But I'm not seeing any options for picnics, you guys. Do I have to have, like, a little picnic hamper? Guys, I don't think they can actually, like, uh, have a picnic. But why don't they cook each other a nice meal instead while they're here? Because look, there's, like, freaking pans there waiting to be used. In fact, they're probably going to get in the way, aren't they? Let's clean them up. <gasps> why don't they bake some flirty heart cookies? Oh, doing some little chit-chats while they cook. Oh my gosh, I've never used this mode before. It's very sensitive. But it's cool because it gets rid of all the stuff on the sides. And we can like focus on our little Simlerinos a little bit more. They're good! Oh my gosh! Guys, look at these cookies. Okay, I'm gonna put them outside. Can I just like grab them? Come outside with me, little cookerinos! I wish there was like a little picnic table. Can I actually put one while I'm here? I don't see why not. Okay, guys. They are fully set up for a day in the park. I even got them a little cabin in a bug. So why don't you guys come and uh, get some of your flirty heart cookies together. The little... J oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Can I... Uh, there we go. <laughs> can I pop them back on the table there? Oh, guys. I'm, I'm going to keep going on this mode now. I know it's there. They're eating their little flirty heart cookies together. In their beautiful little park location. It's like a park in the middle of the city. It's kind of weird, but it's really cool. It's like Central Park, I guess, in America. That's what it's meant to be like. Oh, look at these two. Je Roxy's come around to sit next to her. Oh, what? They instantly were like, no, straight away. What? What can they do in this tent then now that they've got this? <gasps> they can read the widest digest. R wilderness digest. <gasps> or they can do some woo-woos. Oh my gosh, in the wild woo-woos. <gasps> Charlotte Rose is done with, uh, with school for the week. Okay. But Kira's on a bee. That's really good. <gasps> Look at these two doing park woo-woos. What are your little cheekies like? It's got like different music, like little outdoorsy music together. How cute is that? Look, they're all flirty from their cookies as well. You guys, good vibes, good vibes. You wanted to do woo-woos, so there you go. You little cheeky pies, we all know what you guys have been doing. Look at this, completely satisfied. Woo wooed in the wild. They've both got those little traits. She does very much need a wee wee though. Oh wow, Jessie can finally use the ridiculously huge telescope while she's here as well. You heard the fireworks still going off. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, the fireworks are on the lot. Oh my gosh, you guys. How cool is that? Oh look. Little Roxy is looking at the wedding arch and actually fantasizing about weddings. She's thinking about wedding bells. She wants to woo-woo again. She wants to be funny with Jessie as well. Jessie, what do you think about fantasizing about weddings? She thinks it's hot as soon as she gets there. Oh, Jessie. <gasps> she likes the idea too. She wants to kiss Roxy. This is... Oh, wow. Look at this. This, oh wow, I think Roxy's just gonna go up and <gasps> kiss her without even needing to be asked. Well, guys, they couldn't be in a more lo perfect location. And they're kind of in the most perfect mood as well. I think there's only one thing left to do while we are here. And it's something that Jessie has had as one of her options for a really long time. You guys, don't you dare get your butts back here now. I don't care how much you need toilets or weebies or guitars or anything like that. You're gonna do what i've decided you guys are gonna do okay so they're in like the perfect location you guys <gasps> look i can do this mode of it 
Jesse and Roxy are engaged, you guys! It's the perfect place to do it as well. Oh my gosh, and they couldn't be happier. They literally couldn't be happier. And it's just perfect. They are just absolutely perfect together. Little, look at this beautiful shot. Cutie little beans. Thank you to whoever told me I could do this camera angle. Because I love another do massages. Ah! So freaking cute. So you guys, let me know what you think about these two little beans being proposed to each other. Do you like it? Do you like the idea of them getting married? Should they get married back at this park where they very first proposed to each other? Where are they going? Where are you going, guys? Oh, they're off to go run. I think Jessie needs a wee and she needs a read. Well, once you're done with that, guys, there's one last thing you guys need to do while you're here. And that is, I mean, fertilize, fertilize. There's a few people in this family that have done this now, so you won't be the first. In fact, Jessie, you spent quite a lot of your life sleeping in that bush. But look at this, look how happy they are, engaged. This will probably be wedding fantasy. Oh my gosh, the big cutie pies, but there we go. Jesse and Roxy are finally taking things to the next level. And who do we move out of in the city? Do we move out Jesse and Roxy or do we move out James and Salma? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sims in the City. Bye.